Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 13. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. Ah. Uh... Okay, that's decent. If this is the final race, and I hope it is, please, Test Drive Unlimited Gods, make this the final race of this championship. It's only 4.1 miles per lap and three laps, so let's do it. Alright, here we go. Hopefully, this is the final race we are going to be taking with the Aston Martin for a while unless we need it again but we've done the Aston Martin Owners Club and the Club Britannia so we shouldn't need it really because uh, V12 Screamers I think has A class cars in it and clubs don't by the looks of it don't seem to have the uh, performance handicap like races do to level the playing field it's just the car if it's a fast car it goes fast so um I think Pagani Zondas and that have V12, so we could have a chance of having one of those against us. And an Aston Martin has no chance against Pagani Zonda. Because I remember driving the Zonda in this game, and it was quick. Super quick. And this car is nowhere near that level. Like, this car with with upgrades is still off of a base Zonda. The base Zonda can do like 212. This can do 205. This is really good. Ah, careful, careful. No. Nice. You see the amount that the cards actually roll when you crash into a wall? It's insane. Uh, I'm trying to have a drink at the same time. Multitasking while recording. Maximum efficiency. <laughs> there we go, nice. So each of these laps are, by the looks of it, about two and a half minutes. So seven and a half minutes for the entire race. That's okay. At least this race is a little bit shorter. Not going to be as stressful. That um, nine mile race though, that was crazy. Oh, that is the first time we've had a vehicle reset. That is the first time that's ever happened. Wow, okay. Somehow managed to go over the barrier. Um, but yeah. Quick. Got some airtime there. An air drift. That's how it's done, in style. And we are 210,000 points today. But no matter how quick those points go up, that's not quicker before finishing it. Because we're still doing it every single race, so... The points literally mean nothing at the moment, really. Because we've still got quite a few E-Class events to do. We've got a good at least 10. We've got quite a few D-Class events to go. And C-Class probably hundreds. Because most of the points have come from this. 
And by the time we get to B class, won't be long. A couple more C class races. Oh, got a drift going on there. Right, coming up to the end of the second lap. At the next intersection. Here we go, slowing down here. Turn right. That was a nice drift, 154 points. I think that's the most amount of points I've got from a drift. Um, and I wouldn't even say that was drifting. That was more understeering. Careful, because that was where we went off and went into the drink. There we go. Nice. Come on. We got this. The fact as well is this is like classic drum and bass. This is when drum and bass started kicking up. Back in 2005 and that. That's when it started. Or it started becoming like popular. Now all racing games from like 2010 onwards will probably have drum and bass tracks in it. Because it suits the game. But um, this is when it started. And these are old tracks. Such of artists like uh, graphics. Graphics is a good one. Um, you can see all the old music he used to make before he partnered up with Fred V. And same with Fred V. He made music beforehand and they sort of partnered. But um, you can hear all their old music. And since recently them splitting and going their own ways again, um, their music, you can hear the difference between their 2010 tracks and their 2020 tracks. It's insane. Artists change big time. At the next intersection. Final two corners. Technically one corner, I'd say. But here we go. There's the finish line. Ah, oh, that was crazy. Club invite Club B. Oh, epic. Ford Owners Club. So we got a Ford. We got a Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. That is awesome. We're at 500,000 credits as well. Your but that is cool. Is being recalculated. Club B unlocked. And that is the touring car completed. That is awesome. Right, so in that touring car championship thing that we did yesterday for me, but uh, I think the final race was at the start of this video, um, we are... We earned this car. Okay, and this is uh, some form of like um, Shelby concept. I don't know if it's based off of a car or if it's like a Shelby that's been built from the ground up with Ford. Uh, but it is a concept car. Um, so that means we can take, well, we could take part in the concept club anyways, but we've got a better concept car now. Uh, but we are on our way to the... A British dealership I think uh, to have a look for a noble or a C-class car hopefully we can get something here because we've driven the Aston Martin for like the past three episodes non-stop so uh, we're gonna have to change it up a bit that is a Caterham on the uh, picture of that dealership so let's have a look see what Caterham has to offer Oh, there's a noble there. 
Okay, so the Noble M12 is a B class, B class, B class, A class. Oh, brilliant. We can't get any of these. Though, I feel like the XJ220 is going to be my A class car that I pick. Because uh, that's a Jaguar. But there's no cars here that are C-Class, unfortunately. Okay, so we are here at the British Independence dealership. And there is actually this Lotus Sport Exige 240R. Obviously, we've already got this Lotus Elise. But I don't think we're going to go for that because the Exige is much more powerful. And uh, you know what the Exige in this game reminds me of? Because of the fact that it is so much like this. I think it's because of the stretching of the game. Um, because it stretches for 16 by 9. But. It looks a lot like a Hennessy Venom. Because of the fact that it is extended on my display. But. I think we're going to go for this car. We have a choice of uh, yellow or black. Obviously got to go yellow. Uh, an interior can be yellow or black. Again. Yellow. We got ourselves a Lotus. Your itinerary is being recalculated. And here we go. Let's see. How quick is this car? Okay, that wasn't great. <laughs> it's got some nice acceleration. And it's quite controllable around the corners as well. At the next intersection, Very nice. Uh, so what I want to do as well. Um, obviously, the handling for that car is nearly max. Um, but... Where is aftermarket? Here we go. We're going to... Which one is the one for us? Here it is. British Specialist. We're going to go to Specialist Dealership. See how much we can upgrade this before leveling up to B class. Hopefully we don't. And it sticks at C. Um, because that way we can get as much power as possible out of it. And it does stick to C-Class. So we can go up to 291 brake horsepower. 170 miles an hour top speed. And nearly completely maxed out handling. So uh, let's just get it. Confirm upgrade. Yes, please. And our car has been upgraded with the performance package. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Awesome. Let's see how well this drives. This is definitely quicker than the Aston. A lot quicker. <laughs> a little bit uh, difficult to control. But uh, I have been playing a lot of Gran Turismo 4 lately. So, um, yeah, getting used... Sort of getting used to both games. It's a little bit of a nightmare. But yeah, this is a nice car. Let's go to a race then. Right. Oh, got some airtime there. Very nice. Uh, so we are going to be doing a time trial, first of all, with the Lotus. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, that's a paint shot. Okay, cool. This car's only got two paint options, so uh, it's kind of pointless. Oh. It's very nimble, so uh, when you're taking corners... So we'll have to be a little bit more accurate, but it's easier to take those corners at a higher speed. Here we go, though. Town drag. I think there must be a house up at the end of this road. Hang on. You're joking. This road just ends. <laughs> the weirdest road ever. Here we go. Town drag. Let's do this. The road just ends. There's nothing there. 1.9 miles, and we have 1 minute and 9 seconds to do this. Average speed, probably aiming for around about 120 miles an hour. 120 miles an hour, we'll definitely be able to do it. Here we go. Off goes the Lotus. We've got quite a few corners, though, which may be a problem. Because we go quite wide on corners um, if we don't slow down quick enough. Uh, the brakes aren't the strongest of things on this car. Um, I know the Aston Martin's brakes are much more powerful.
Nice. Oh, slow down, slow down. Careful. Perfect. Oh, crap. Keep it going. Ten seconds left. We made it. Not a problem. Ta-da. We got a gold medal. One minute, 6.1 seconds. That's decent. We're getting close to the uh, 500,000 mark, which I have a feeling is when B-Class unlocks. Uh, so the next event is 1.8 miles away. Let's go drive there. Look at this car, though. It's a nice car. It's a very nice looking car. Oh, look at that. That's good. Oh, we've gone past it. U turn. I love that you can do burnouts in this game as well. It's just so satisfying doing a burnout or doing a drift or any form of slide. Your destination is one mile Even away. losing control is satisfying because it just looks cool. At the next intersection, that was very close. Nice. The thing that surprises me is how this map fits. Oh. How this map and this game fits on the disc that it did. Come on. Wouldn't move over. To be fair, I am the one illegally racing, so I uh, can't really say much. You have reached your destination. Here we go. Isle to Isle. It's another time trial. 4.1 miles. Two minutes and six seconds for 37,000 credits. That is a huge amount of money. Let's do this. Come on. Off we go. With two minutes to get to the finish. This is a point to point. There's no checkpoints in between. Which is interesting and worrying. That was terrible. We're going to restart straight away. Not even going to bother with that. I'm just going to retry. I crashed right at the start and I couldn't get into reverse. But uh, two, two minutes for three point whatever miles and only one checkpoint and that's the finish line. That's quite interesting for a race. Um, especially in an open world game where the off-road penalty doesn't exist as well. There is no off-road penalty in this uh, event, in this race. At the next intersection, turn right. I mean, there isn't really much area that you can go off-road, except there where I absolutely cocked up that corner. Go, 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 go. This is where our acceleration gets us the upper hand because we'd still be at 100 miles an hour in the Aston by now. But uh, by now, the Aston probably would have caught up to 150 and is now flooring it down the road. Uh, maybe the Lotus isn't an ideal car for this event. If it is just a straight road, no more corners, we'll make it. But there's going to be a corner. Maybe. That was a fairly substantial corner. Oh, this is close. Twenty seconds for gold. At 
10 seconds. Have we done it? Hey, we did it. Just about. Two minutes, two seconds, point six. Gold medal. We got a nice amount of uh, credits there as well. Good 30,000. And the next location is 1.3 miles away. Awesome. Let's keep it going. The more races in close proximity, the quicker we'll finish this game. I think they designed this game so that uh, you would end up finishing near where uh, another event would start. It's some pretty decent design, don't get me wrong. Why do we have to go the long way around? Why can't we just go like that? Just do that. Sorted. All right, so 115 miles an hour. Now, the bonus about this car having higher acceleration should be out of the corners. We should get that speed. Um, but the problem may be on the straights. We may not get that speed that we need. Hmm. Depends. I mean, we're already at 100 miles an hour. The Aston Martin would have been at 90 by there. Terrible. Terrible first corner. You know what? Okay, we'll finish it. Get the points. But uh, we will have to redo it. Guaranteed. Because uh, going off-road like that loses so much speed. One speed. And two gives you a massive penalty as well. Right, let's just restart. We got ourselves a little bit of money. A little bit of master points. Just uh, drinking my Red Bull now. Sugar free. Actually tastes really nice. Right. Don't go off the road this time, car. And off we go. Okay, so the corner does get tighter here. that corner flowing get quite a lot of speed there slow down onto the inside and speed must have got gold there 123.39 that was a decent speed 14,000 credits thank you very much Your itinerary is being recalculated. next event is 1.4 miles away oh watch it Oh, we're going to have a three-star wanted level in a minute. Uh, you can tell the cops are bad in this game. Just instantly gives up. Your destination is one mile away. Oh, that was not contact. No. Dame to Casita, ah, ah, Dame to Casita, ah, ay. Oh, we got another, uh, oh, that was close. Thread in the needle. Uh, we got ourselves another speed trap event. This one is called Mokapu Sprint. 18,000 credits available for 120 miles an hour top speed. Oh, I've dropped my controller. There we go. We've got five st speed traps to uh, set off, to trap. I have a feeling they all go in a specific direction. You just sort of have to follow go in a straight line, you get the first one and then the rest follow suit. It's a really decent, this car. 
Because this is where, um... So far, every single trap speed has been over 120. So, if we get, like, 110 on the next two, we'll still be just about over, I think. Um, but based on the fact we got 120 on that one, I think we can literally not even do the next one and probably still get it. No, we still have to do it. But, look at this. 137. 128.68 miles an hour. And, so we were basically, uh, 8.66 seconds faster than the target time. And already we've earned all the money back from buying the Lotus. So, uh, I think it was a worthwhile investment. Oh, well done. That's not good, because, uh, cops can, s for some reason, if you're still moving, they can still stop you. Um, so, need to watch out for those guys. I hope the police are in TDU Solar Crown. Because, as well, it being a new game, there's so much potential for it. Lovely. Three star wanted level. Dispatch, whatever. <laughs> uh, so this is a 4.3 mile race, uh, two laps. Uh, and this is no restriction. So uh, taking the Lotus should be a lot of fun. Um, but I have a feeling we'll probably get put against uh, some pretty high up vehicles. Oh, those are all A class. That's a Ford GT and a Volkswagen W12 concept. That's the coupe as well. That does 217 miles an hour. Wow. So those cars that are clearly way faster than a Lotus still cannot pick up any form of speed whatsoever. Stick it behind the Ford. We'll get that slip stream. Nice. Okay, slow down, slow down. Come on. Perfect. That's really good so far. Checkpoint number three. Exactly 41 seconds as we cross the line. Gotta keep it moving. Keep it moving. What are you doing? I think that's an Ascari, is it? Looks very Ascari-like. Oh, you're joking. I get into his slipstream and the car goes flying into the back of him. Wow. How to destroy someone's race. Let them get in your slipstream and then brake check them. Just like... Skirt. I think the Red Bull's kicking in. <laughs> Here we go. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. All right, we got past the Ford GT. Nearly uh, spun ourselves out, though, doing that. But it wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Right. Past the uh, Ascari or whatever car it is. The lowest top speed is uh, definitely a bit of a problem based on the fact that this map is... This game has some very long straights. But again, there are sections of this map. The entire map where you have straights for top speed C-Class races, for example. And then you have cornering races. And it's almost like you genuinely do have to pick, like, the best car for it, for the task you've been given. Um, if I did have enough money at the start and could be bothered, I would have bought the Elise and sort of mixed it up as we went along. 
Um, but yeah, I didn't and couldn't be bothered. That was very good though. That was a very good corner. Come on, checkpoint. Okay, so we're already on the third checkpoint of lap number two. So that is actually the section where that car behind us actually caught up. Oh, the black car's uh, gone behind. The uh, W12 concept from Volkswagen's caught up with us. That is our main opponent now. Is our V-Dub. Here we go, coming up towards the highway. Oh. Had a little bit of a wobble going on there. This is amazing. I love this. This game is so good. If you haven't, if you've got a PS2, um, because I know a lot of people don't have one, and you haven't played this, play it. And if you don't have a PS2, but you have a very decent phone or PC, download um, either, a, if you're on PC, download a PS2 emulator. Free, you can find yourself a free disc and play this game for free. Or you can go and get uh, PPSSPP on your phone, PSP emulator and play the PSP version. It's exactly the same as this, just no interior cameras and no interior mapping. But still, it is such a good game, and you guys need to try it, seriously. But uh, five miles to the next location, we're going to have a nice little road trip with the cop. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button, or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and discord so make sure to follow us over on there but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye